Welcome back, y'all. A big question I got from this video that I did here where I showed y'all how to make uh, a GBT using Zapier's new feature, AI Actions, was how do I do this but not necessarily use Zapier's AI Actions? Rather, let's go ahead and access Zapier Automation still but do it through webhooks. More specifically, this can be used in the context of building out a public GBT where you can provide a ton of value to the end user, but instead of you dealing with Zapier's way of dealing with AI actions, we're gonna use webhooks in order to pass data around and provide value to the end user. So to do that today, we're gonna to create a whole new GBT here. On top of that, we're gonna go ahead and create an automation over here in order to suffice, you know, so we can start passing data between the two platforms. One other thing I wanna point out here, I know you're a recurring channel, you already know this, or recurring viewer, you already know this, but my name is Corbin. Uh, I'm a full stack AI engineer and I give pragmatic advice on how to start leveraging your artificial intelligence. So this is a huge gap I see within the content sphere where a lot of people give surface level information, but I'm actually giving you real practical ways to start applying this in your personal or your business life. And as of recently, we've created this whole playlist here about this GBT OpenAI API store, sorry, uh, OpenAI app store that's coming out. There's a ton of potential here. So let's go ahead and learn how to do more complex versions of GBT in this video. Okay, to start off here, we're gonna go ahead and come over to chat GBT. We're gonna create a new GBT. And the use case we're doing today, and I'm gonna go ahead and jump over here, is we're gonna be building out a specific action that's going to be able to send the data as a webhook to uh, our GBT here. So let's go ahead and first build out the underlying thing that's gonna receive the data. And that's gonna be a, a zap your automation. So I'm gonna go ahead and create here, new zap. All these apps are from tutorials from this channel. We've over a thousand videos. You can check it out, really start learning how to leverage artificial intelligence automation. From here though, we're gonna go ahead and set up a simple trigger here. There's gonna be a webhook. So if you're not familiar with webhooks, go ahead and check out uh, the API video on this channel. We kind of give you like a very layman version of how to understand webhooks. But for your reference, what a webhook is, is it allows us to pass data around. So either I am receiving data or I'm sending data. There's ways to delete data. There's ways to manipulate data, stuff of this nature. What we're doing in today's video though, is we're gonna go ahead and receive data from that GBT. So we're gonna do catch hook here. I'm gonna continue here. And actually I can jump back over here. And we're gonna continue here and we're gonna go ahead and test this trigger. So this is gonna give us the data point in which we can send that data from, uh, from that underlying GBT conversation. So right now if I hit test trigger here, nothing's gonna show up because we have no data that we've sent. So knowing this, we're gonna go ahead and make sure we copy that to our clipboard because we're gonna use that later. Okay, so in our schema here, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that, jump back over here. I'm gonna put this as one, actually probably a comment because it's so big. But essentially what you need to understand here is this is the structuring of how we send webhooks within GBT. So this is very valuable. So even if you don't use Zapier, you may use Make, you can go ahead and apply it there as well. But let me go ahead and explain what's going on here. So if you have no clue what any of this means, I can go ahead and you know enlighten you a little. Right off the bat, this is just the version of OpenAI that we're using here. Um, this is going to be how we describe the underlying action here. So we got you know Zapier webhook integration. OpenAI specification for posting Zapier webhooks version 1.1 or 1.00, if I can speak. One thing I also want to side note here is make sure to subscribe here as I'm going to actually build out a GBT that is specialized in building GBTs. I know Inception, right? And I'm going to share it with you all. So then this can really help you when it comes to more custom work. You can go ahead and actually just access that chat and you can kind of talk to a more uh, finer tuned chat that's been proctored by me that allows you to access uh, more relevant data when it comes to this more complex versions of GBTs. I think I'm gonna do that video tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Pretty cool stuff. From here though, uh, also by the way, this is my second video today. I get it. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, two videos a day. But we're gonna go ahead and provide our URL here, which is gonna be the hooks.zapier.com. This is gonna be this initial uh, you know, webhook URL here. This is kind of like the alpha URL. From here though, we're gonna go ahead and have the paths. So the paths on that URL is going to be the latter half of the webhook URL. So all we need to do in this context is I'm gonna come over here. Uh, I'm gonna do GBT data pass. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. And then I can come back over here and it's gonna paste it real quick. And what we care about here is, as you see here, this is the main URL here. And then what we want is the hook. So we were gonna go ahead and copy this right here. So I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna paste it right here. So this is basically our way of telling uh, the schema where we wanna send the data to. So now that we know where we wanna send the data to, the next thing you can understand when it comes to this kind of stuff is that OpenAI has a specific terminology for how we name it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back up here. And what I mean by name it is how it shows up here. If you're familiar with the channel, you already know that that is important because that's how we tell ChatGPT to interact in the context of what action it should do when it comes to custom actions. That sounded weird. But 
as you see here, I renamed it to send data. So if I add any other text here, you'll see it will update. There we go. I'm going to leave it as send data here because I'm going to leave this in the comments so you can really get a good idea here. The next thing we have here is a summary of what's occurring here. So we got post data, zap your webhook, and then we got a description. So this is the endpoint. This is where the data is being sent to. So now we're getting into the request body. So this is how the JSON payload is going to be formatted for us. Obviously, standard code here, we're going to go either successful response or there was an unexpected error. Coming down here, though, this is where we provide or this is where GBT will provide the relevant information that we're going to pass through the data or pass through the webhook. So as you see here, we have uh, two main properties and then we have the output here. So the first thing we need to understand is we are going to identify by type. Type means in this context is going to be text. It's going to be numbers. It's going to be an array, whatever it may be. Obviously, uh, in this context, we're going to be doing um, an email. So their way of identifying like letters is, is called string in code. So we're going to do type string. Our format's going to be email and we're going to provide an email address for the user. If you don't want to do an email, that's fine. What we can also alternatively do here is a just a type of string and a description. And then this will essentially input, you know, the relevant information for us to understand what is going to be going into that string here. So for us, it's just for a layman description of the subject or the email. All you need to understand is this. If you want to add a, another data point that you want to send over, you're going to simply copy one of these and you're going to make sure you add it here. So new data point uh, like this, if I can even spell and kind of proceed from there. And then you would kind of use the exact same structure in here. Now that GBT uh, helper that I'm going to make tomorrow is going to be able to help you out with this as well. So you don't get stuck as much because trust me, it's annoying when you deal with, uh, syntax and code and stuff of this nature for this. So as you see here, everything's set up. We know now that for the available action, what we do when we send this data is going to be, we're going to be sending over what it thinks is going to be an email, what it thinks is going to be the subject of the email, but we're going to have to proctor our chat to understand that. So in order to do so, we're going to go ahead and do this. We do send data. And here's what's great. We don't need to have any authentication. So we're going to do send data. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to say this. Okay. Today we are, okay, we'll say your use case is sending data to a Zapier webhook. Obviously you'd rephrase this for the specific public context you're using it, but I'm just gonna do it for this tutorial. Your use case is sending data to a Zapier webhook uh, using the action of send data. And typically I like doing this as well as I like identifying the exact variable point. So I'll add little uh, quotation marks here. This just kind of comes from prompting. So we're going to go ahead and shift enter into here. I'm going to say um, the provided data should include an email and what's the email about. So I might need to reproduce that a little bit further. Let's just first see if this payload works. I'm going to say, so ask the user who you want to send an email to and what it should be about. Okay. I'm gonna hit uh, send message here. So we're gonna go ahead and build this out real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a, a cool little name here. And this is gonna finish phase one of sending data outside of GBT in the context of a webhook. So they went ahead and gave us a name here. We've got mail helper. I'm gonna say yes to that. I'm gonna get a profile image. The context of this tutorial is gonna be really good at people that wanna essentially provide a lot of value um, in their GBTs to the app store that's coming out because of the fact that now we can tap into automations within Zapier uh, through these webhooks and provide value in this in this way. It's really cool stuff here. Um, we can also in the future do a video where maybe we can receive webhooks in GBT's database as well. That's future, so make sure to stay tuned here. Um, as you see here, we got our nice little profile image. We got assist in sending emails via Zap your webhook. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say, hey, I would like to send an email today. Sounds like an exciting day, right? <laughs> All right, so, okay, perfect. We're gonna go ahead and say, uh, we want to send it to, I'm actually gonna grab my courses account here real quick. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. And the email is about uh, how to grow an apple tree. I don't know, am I Johnny Seed now? Or Johnny Seed? Johnny Apple Seed, Johnny, yeah, yeah. Okay, apple tree. If you remember that book, you remember that book. Okay. Um, here we go. Could you me, uh, um, that should be enough. Send over. All right, so this should call upon the action 
that we created there earlier. So this is going to be calling upon this configuration of this hook. We're going to go ahead and say allow here and we should be able to send the data here. We should receive it on the other end here. Okay, perfect. Um, has it been successfully sent? If I come over to uh, Zapier here, if I hit test trigger, we should get two data points here. All right, perfect. So as you see here, there's two ma major things I want you to take note of. First major thing I want you to take note of is the fact that for the email, it actually put in the email uh, payload. So it knows that the email we provided was an email and it was identified and put in the payload identified as an email. This is pretty important as we go uh, later, later on in this uh, automation. Second thing I want you to note here is that notice how, you know, email subject, how to grow an apple tree. It seems like it even reformatted a little bit. So maybe there's a little bit of proctoring you can do there. So you can maybe, you know, manipulate data that's coming in through the webhook as well. Keep that in mind. That's cool. From here though, let's go and build out a simple automation. I'm gonna send an email to myself um, and then I'm gonna do this live rather than doing it through the test phase. This will make more sense. So first thing I'm gonna do here is this. I'm gonna add a chat GPT block. So we're doing AI on top of AI here. So we're going meta AI, um, but not llama. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do conversation. Okay, continue here, continue here. And we're gonna go ahead and do a user message of this. So we're gonna say based on the subject of the email I received, I'm gonna do uh, email subject. One thing, I know this is just jump from GBT to Zapier, but if you're familiar with both platforms, you'll love this. Um, if you're not familiar with Zapier, anytime you wanna identify a variable point, you wanna make sure that you add it in the actual text itself because when the data is read by GBT, it doesn't actually see email subject, it just sees it, it won't see it. So you have to add email subject here. Okay, perfect. Um, we're gonna say generate an email body for this saying, how to do this. I, this is random. I know this is random. I just want to show you utility wise how to do it uh, rather than giving you like a, you know, something really, really complex. So let's go ahead and just throw GBT4 in this, but it just really goes to show you also memory key, uh, random 32 character, character, random 32 character string. It really helps with scale. Um, so I can put random numbers there or letters. Um, it really goes to show you though, this is really, really cool. So not only are we talking to GBT, now when we pass the data to an automation, it's talking to AI again. This is like really, really cool stuff. I mean, there's a ton of stuff we can do in this context and we plan on diving into it more in this channel. It's just all early days still. This stuff came out Monday. Um, that's why we set out here at Corbin AI for every, at least till this week. I don't know, I might burn out, okay? At least this week, every two days, we're gonna do a new video. Or sorry, two videos a day. From here though, we got a... Uh, possible body to of how to do said things. So generate email body for saying how to do this. In this context, we're learning how to grow an apple tree, whatever. Point is, is that now we know we can use AI on top of AI. So from here though, I'm just gonna go ahead and set up an email and I'm gonna send it to uh, myself. So I'm gonna hit Gmail here. I'm gonna choose the event of send email. Obviously, whatever you have access to or integrated to on Zapier over 6,000 apps, you could potentially uh, use it in this automation flow as well. So I'm gonna continue here, I'm gonna choose my account. Okay, so now that I've chose my account, here's a cool thing. What email do I send it to? That's what we got from the webhook. So we already got the relevant email that we care about. Perfect. Coming down here, I didn't go ahead and put a subject here saying, uh, you got mail. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and put in our body here. What is put in the chat GPT output? It's not gonna look amazing. It's not gonna be formatted. If you wanna learn more about formatting and how to handle chat GPT, you can check out this channel here. We have a whole playlist called Zapier for AI. Ton of stuff on that. I'm gonna continue here and then I'm gonna go ahead and test this step. All right, perfect. So as you see here, showed up in my email box here. Uh, I guess I want to learn how to grow an apple tree. That's cool, but let me show you live. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and publish this. So now when I publish this, that webhook is always going to be listening for data. It's always waiting for a, uh, no thank you Zapier. It's always waiting for data to be sent here. What's also great, as, as you'll notice, compared to Zapier AI Assistant and all that, this is kind of cooler. You could really build out some custom workflows here that are a little bit more flexibility. As you can know, as you may or may not know, when dealing with Zapier in that other UI, if you can check out that video as well, if you know what I'm talking about, you're more limited. This uh, this opens up the, the realm of what you can really do when it comes to GBT and Zapier and building out custom flows for yourself or building custom flows for value. From here though, it is live. So what I can do here is we're gonna go ahead and just save this and I don't have a privacy policy right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and do, okay. So let me just go ahead and add a privacy policy then. Uh, let me go ahead and just come back over here. Just add one real quick. You know what y'all, it wasn't that I didn't have a privacy policy. It was the fact I'm gonna do only me real quick that I didn't name it. 
Okay, uh, Zapier webhook. There we go. Um, now we can go ahead and save this. I'm gonna do only me. And let's go ahead and proceed here. So we are in Zapier webhook here. We're gonna go ahead and say, um, we want to send an email to, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my email again. Uh, let's have the email subject be about how cool AI is at productivity. Really random. I'm gonna hit enter here and let's see how it proceeds. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hit allow here. Perfect, so we got the email has been successfully sent to courses. All right, so what's great here is that it's already live, it's automatic, so we should be expecting an email here soon. But just for your reference, if you're not familiar with the Zapier platform, um, we can come back over here. And if you wanna learn more about the platform, um, you can go ahead and check out, we have like over a 40 minute video there. Uh, we can go ahead and come over to uh, Zap Runs and see what we got. So we got it playing, it's currently active. Wow, I've actually never seen this UI before. This is super cool. Okay, so this works, it's perfect. As you see, green, 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 green. Um, yeah, it works perfectly well. And there, uh, we can see every single task associated with it and even gives us a run ID, cool. Coming back over to our email here, I'm gonna go ahead and reload. And there we go. So we, you got mail, subject leveraging AI, uh, dear reader, thank you, automation for routine task, advanced data analysis, you know, just showing you the fact that it essentially was able to interpret that webhook and grab the data here. Now I can even probably see it in here, right? Um, let me see if I can find the data that was put out. Yeah, data out, here we go. Remarkable, boom. Okay, so what we learned today, we learned that we don't necessarily need to be using Zapier AI task for automations as now we can do it outside of the realm and the way we were boxed in originally with AI tasks. Now we can send the data through webhooks. And as you'll notice too, it can get pretty complex. Notice how the AI was able to interpret that it was an email. So put in the email value for the JSON payload and that it was the subject. So I put in the subject value for that JSON payload. Really cool stuff here. It shows you that we are able to do AI on top of AI. Um, if you felt like you learned something today, make sure to leave a like, uh, make sure to be following here at Twitter. I'm gonna go ahead and come back over here. Go ahead and follow you on Twitter if you wanna hear my random thoughts. Um, my goal here, since I'm getting a ton of momentum on this channel, is I'm trying to hit for two a day. It's pretty late where I'm at right now, so this is probably why it's coming a little later. But I'm hitting. I'm gonna try to hit two a day, okay? And then you can go ahead and see me just talk about random stuff on my TikTok, artificial intelligence, GBTs, what's going on. You can check out there. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Corbin AI, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.